And Stacy, the challenge says Senator Jack Whitford does not reside and has never resided at the address where he's registered to vote. Whitfer established residency in August at a condo he zoned in Grimes since 2019. We knocked on that address about three weeks ago, found no one home. The challenge says Whitfer lives in a house on Bellagio Circle in Ankeny, that home, the place he's called home for years. He switched his primary address in August to the Grimes condo while running in Senate District 23 because his Ankeny home was drawn out of the district that he represented. The challenge filed by a Grimes resident cites a few things allegedly showing he lives in Ankeny. According to the challenge, first, a volunteer campaigning for the Democrat candidate Todd Brady knocked on the door in Ankeny and spoke to Whitford's wife. The volunteer said she asked Whitford's wife if her family still lived at that address. She responded they did. Whitford himself not home at the time, according to the challenge. Further, it cites our reporting when we knocked on the door of the Ankeny home and found no one home, but did find packages addressed to Whitford. It also cites a water bill obtained by KCRG TV in Cedar Rapids showing no water use from February to September. A water bill that KCCI investigates obtained showed some water use for the month of September. The challenge says that was below what an average American uses per month per month. We reached out to Whitford's press office for comment on the newest challenge. It calls it, quote, a frivolous attempt by Democrats to try to overturn an election. It goes on to say in part, quote, while Democrat campaigns tried to make the, this an issue during the campaign, the voters of Senate District 23 rejected it, end quote. That full statement posted on KCCI.com. His office also previously provided documentation showing he has the Grimes address on his driver's license and changed his Polk County Homestead tax credit when he moved in August. A hearing will be held on November 30th to determine if his voter registration is valid. It is important to note that is the challenge and what it is about. Polk County Auditor Jamie Fitzgerald will make that decision. Then either party can appeal to district court. Steve.